Hello folks and welcome back to another lesson. As you watch this, I am actually in Seattle, so I thought we would do Nirvana's Francis Farmer will have her revenge on Seattle. Because it's topical and also because it's a cracking tune. So in terms of the tone, you want a clean tone and you want a distorted tone. I'm using uh, the Carl Longbottom Fulvia. These are um, Sun Bear Sunbird pickups. <laughs> So they sound really good for this. Uh, Morgan MVP back there, that's the clean tone you just heard. And old school pedal, but kind of new school. It's the Wazacraft DS1. So it's the DS1W, sounds like this. Now tuning wise, every string is down one fret or half a step, okay? So it's E flat, A flat, you know, D flat, etc. So you're gonna to have to do that if you need to play along with the album, and that is what I've gone for. So if you want to tune to me, you should sound like that. Intro riff goes like this. And then it goes into the verse, right? Um, now the first time it's played, it's all palm muted, but you're gonna go sliding up to the fourth fret. All power chords, I'm using my first and my little finger for these, but you know, fret it however you wish. So you do a slide, but then you're gonna do eight in total, okay? So roughly from like the second fret, you know, slide up. Palm muted with the slide as well, right? Open, back down to the E, or E flat as it now is. Just four there, then you slide up to the fifth fret. Again, I go from about the second fret. Okay. Then around again. Just three this time, and then there's a an open one when you go back to the fourth fret, okay? So that last bar would be. Then it goes around again with the singing, okay? And then you're gonna branch out into this B. With the, and then you click the distortion off again and it's clean. But the beginning of the verse part is identical to what we just played, but the palm muting just comes off a bit earlier, right? So you get... So you'd start digging in, right, when you get to the, uh, the G or the third fret. And you smack on the, uh, the distortion as you hit the B, okay? Second fret on the A, that is. Note that there's no slide up to the fourth fret, right? That only happens right at the very beginning. So then we've got. Then you're into the next section. All right, should be pretty straightforward. Now when we get here, there's some slight strumming. Um, put the distortion on, so you're gonna play. So the rhythm is down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. All right, that's the rhythm. Doesn't really matter, but I mean, that's what I hear when, when I was playing along with it. Let me play it clean for you. All right, so you're gonna play slowly. Okay, so the only tricky bit there is you've got to lift your fingers up and move them down a string to do that little walk up. Now worth noting, I think when um, Kurt is fretting this, he must be covering his first finger on the low um, E as well, right? Whatever it's called, the sixth string. Because you'll hear that sometimes creep in there, right? So you'll get... So feel free to throw in a bit of that as well. You'll hear it as well in the chorus, you know, it comes in every now and again. So um, yeah, I would cover two, two, four, four there from the low string. And then you go round again. So the whole part would be, I'll play it slowly.
right? Like that. You go around that four times, okay? On the fifth time you play. You definitely walk up with the two, two, four, four chord, right? So you're basically playing a B power chord. With the fifth in the root. Then you're into the chorus, which goes. Okay, notice how you, I start on the B for the last two bars. And then you hear the low note kicking in. And then you walk it back up, okay? So, um, we're gonna start off here. Fourth fret, okay? Down, down, up, down, 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 down. Up to the seventh fret. Down to the fifth. So you're gonna do two here. Down two frets and do four. And then you go to the B. And then walk it up, all right? So one more time slowly and then we'll move on because it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward, I think. So we've got. that three times and then the fourth time you branch off and we play and back into the verse okay so that last part is first half the same Go down to the uh, B, but on the um, forehand, you move it down, do a little run down to A, okay? All right, and then from the A, you're going to play. just do that okay so don't worry too much about their picking but it's so you're just picking out a couple of notes let me play it clean and you can hear it clearly Um, and then we go to a, a third fret, power chord. Down one fret and palm mute. And then you walk it back up. And then you're back here with the distortion off. Again, right? Go around the verse, the chorus, all that good stuff another time. When you come back around to this part, so there. just do four okay and then you're into the middle eight which goes know how I'm fingering these power chords here though right I'm actually using this, you know, more common shape, I would say. One, three, four, right? Because then I actually flatten, I go onto my little finger here, right? And just flatten all my fingers. So see where my little finger is, it's not moving. It allows me to get to that quickly, okay? Because then you're going to play with an upstroke. You're going to um, slide up to the seventh fret, okay? And when you 
you get there, you're going to play down, up, down. <laughs> Okay, so that's slowly. Then you're down here. You play that nine times, right? Then you play. At least I think that's what's being played, so it's... And then you back around, okay? So, the whole thing, slowly. Okay, now it's not set in stone, it's very loose, but sometimes you'll hear you'll hear that as well, right? So if you're struggling with the slide, you just play that. You go to the open E, and that gives you time to move up to the seventh fret on the next string up. And then it doesn't matter if you hit the open E as well. There's also another rhythmic variation sometimes. Like that, right? So you just play. Down, down, up, down, 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 right? And then finally, you've just got the ending part, which goes. slide up from that like so and that is it people hope you enjoyed that one see you again soon